So we are taking a look at the Zoom meeting recording and the conversion process that happens at the end of that. First and always most importantly is to make sure that you have your Zoom client logged in correctly with your Hartwick Gmail account um, and making sure that it's up to date. So the sign in with Google is what you always want to do. Don't put in an email and a password. Always sign in with Google. and use your Hartwick account. That should reopen the Zoom client. Click up here to check for updates. The updates are at least weekly at this point and they really do need to be done because a lot of functionality has been improved and a lot of the recording process will not work as good if you're using an out-of-date version. The update only takes a couple of minutes and does not require a reboot of your computer. Once you've made sure you've got the latest updated version and you start your meeting and you start your recording, for this session I am recording without my mic because I'm recording it through a different program. But it doesn't matter whether you have audio, whether you have 20 cameras in the room all on, whether you have a video that you're presenting, the size of the Zoom recording file is always the same. Uh, another thing that I've learned is it does not matter whether you have an older, slower computer or you have a faster computer, the processing time, the conversion that happens at the end is exactly the same. So while the, while the meeting is recording, we're going to take a look at what's happening with that file. So documents, zoom, and your latest file is the one that's recording. It has already created that file as soon as you started recording. And you'll notice that you have these double click to convert 01 and double click to convert 02. You might have tag files, you might have some temporary files while it's doing the recording. If we refresh that, we notice that this first double click to convert 01 file is always growing. It is populating this file on your local computer while the class is going on. So we'll leave that recording for a little while. Okay, I let this record in Zoom for about a half an hour now. So if we take a look at that folder again, so this was in Documents Zoom and the date and time of your most recent meeting. We refresh that, we can see we're up to 515 megs for this recording so far, and it is continuing to record. So we're going to go ahead and stop the recording. I'm not stopping the session yet. Again, it says that that file is going to be converted when the meeting ends. I'm going to show you how to stop that and restart it later. We've wrapped up the class. We've said goodbye to everyone and we end the meeting, immediately the conversion box pops up. You can hit stop converting, stop that completely, and you're back to the main Zoom app. If you look in that folder, refresh it again, you see the audio only file. That's a temp file now. You see the double click to convert one and two. You'll see the Zoom zero MP4 temp file and you'll see a tag file. You can finish that conversion right from here by double clicking on that 01 or right from the Zoom client. If you click on Meetings, Recorded, you can see that most recent one from today and now it gives you the opportunity to convert. Either way that's possible. Just want to confirm something though, if you have now finished your class, you've stopped your conversion, you've closed your computer, and you've disconnected from the internet, whether you're out of Wi-Fi, whether you are at home and don't have Wi-Fi, what happens to that file? 
Again, however you want to convert it, by double clicking it from here or right from the recordings in the client, convert it. I'm going to do it right from here. Even without internet access, it's going to start converting. And yes, this is a very slow process. Back on the Zoom client, we can look and see that Zoom is using nothing, but the conversion process is using a lot of computer power. That is running with Zoom's converter on your local computer, not over the internet, not on Zoom servers. But it's still taking a really long time on my newer, faster computer because Zoom throttles the speed of the conversion, not the computer. Zoom keeps it to run at a slower pace so that even on older laptops it'll work. So we're now at 98% converted. It's taken about six minutes for a half an hour file. You can see that the original file was, what, 515 megs. Once it's converted down to the usual MP4, it's only 326 megs. It is that 30 minutes.